Good morning. I'm Paul Qualia of APAC Assistance. I'm covering off of the main issues in South Asia this Tuesday, the 16th of April. Firstly, in India, supporters of rival parties scuffle in Mumbai. A candidate for the Congress party has been given police protection after a scuffle broke out during a Congress campaign rally near Borivali Station in North Mumbai. The ruckus broke out when supporters of the Bharatiya Janata Party, the BJP, allegedly broke into the Congress campaign rally and started shouting pro-Modi slogans. The Congress party accused the BJP of a blatant breach of the election code of conduct. Voting in Mumbai is scheduled in the fourth phase on April 29. Further skirmishes between the supporters of the two rival parties are possible during the campaign period, up to the canvassing and inauguration of winners. Clients are advised to use caution near polling, canvassing precincts and avoid political rallies for the rest of the election season. In Pakistan, firstly, Pakistan is to receive an IMF assistance package. The Finance Minister for Pakistan, Assad Umar, announced yesterday that Pakistan will sign an economic bailout agreement with the International Monetary Fund worth between US dollars 6 to $8 billion. The IMF finalised a bailout package for Pakistan during talks between the two sides at a recent visit by the Pakistani delegation to the United States. Pakistan will receive funds from the World Bank and Asian Development Bank soon after the agreement is signed. Umar said the IMF package would ease off pressures from the country's foreign reserves, which are down to US dollars about $10 billion. Umar has stated last week that the country's economy is at the brink of bankruptcy owing to the debt crisis. Also in Pakistan, suspected terrorists fall in Karachi and Peshawar. Karachi police arrested five terrorists affiliated with banned outfits from the Taiso town area of the city. Grenades, firearms and laptops were recovered from the suspects. The police said that the suspects used to approach people through social media to radicalise and raise funds for their operations. Police have not revealed the terror organisations the suspects are affiliated to. Meanwhile, in Peshawar, one policeman and a suspected terrorist were killed in an intelligence-based operation in the Hayatabad Phase 7 area. Security forces received information that suspected terrorists were holed up inside a house in Hachabad, which prompted the police to launch a raid and cordon off the entire area. Police said the militants put up a fight and were firing from inside the house. The standoff lasted two hours, leaving one policeman and one terrorist dead. Clients are advised to employ extreme caution while travelling in major cities of Pakistan, where terror groups continue to pose a threat to civilians. Avoid visiting remote, rural and border areas of the country. Consider deployment of appropriately trained security personnel on the back of professionally run strategic intelligence programs. Please check us out at www.apacassistance.com where you can buy our advisories, alerts and assessments on a pay-for-view basis or email us at info at apacassistance.com. To inquire about the unique value of our East Asia Pacific and South Asia Operational Risk Management Regional Assistance Membership Packages. Thank you.